titanium is a super strong yet super light metal. It even floats on water. Damn it. Turns out titanium does not float on water. That just goes to show you that you can't believe everything that you see on the internet. There's a lot of liars out there. Except for this channel, you can always trust this channel because like 80% of the time, I never lie. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I have a block of titanium. It's probably an inch and a quarter, maybe almost an inch and a half thick. This was sent to me by Tactical Advantage Armory. They make a lot of products out of titanium and I appreciate their support on the channel. What we wanna to see today is what will go through a one and a quarter inch block of titanium. Let's do it. I'm gonna set it right here right up against this log so there'll be something pressing against the back so those bullets should have a lot of impact force when they hit because the titanium plate won't give any. Starting it off right with a 22 long rifle out of this pistol. An extra one just for good measure. Little scuff there and a scuff there. I don't know that I would call those dents. I think we're gonna have to step up our game. But a real caliber, nine millimeter out of a CZ Scorpion. Didn't do much. A little bit of a dent, but not bad. 44 Magnum, one of the biggest handgun cartridges. Looks like it hit pretty hard, but I doubt it was hard enough. Definitely a better hit there but I don't even know if I'd count that as a dent. Still pretty weak, but never fear, I brought rifles. This first rifle I've nicknamed Thumper. It's my Henry 4570 Government. Shoots this huge 400 grain bullet. Let's see what it does to the titanium. Thumped it. Here's where it hit, and basically, you can see these ridges on here probably, very fine ridges. It basically just flattened out those ridges. There's no dent deeper than those. Just flatten them out, that's about it. If you've ever watched penetration videos before, I shouldn't have said it like that. If you've ever watched bullet penetration videos, the faster bullet will go deeper. This is a faster bullet, 325 grains. Looks like a little missile out of this 4570. See if it makes a difference. I like it. It either hit here or here. Either way, it did nothing. That bigger bullet made a bigger dent than that. How about the tried and true 3030 cartridge out of this Henry rifle? This is a 160 grain bullet coming out of the barrel at 2400 feet per second. So it's moving along at a pretty good clip. Let's see if it dents that thing anymore. Here's our hit, just a very tiny dent. It's about equal to that 400 grain 4570. Now this one's definitely not going to penetrate it, but who doesn't want to see a 12 gauge firing a one ounce slug at that little plate over there? Shoo! Feel that one tomorrow. This one has some decent damage. Looks like it maybe depressed it about a millimeter, maybe two, not much but better than we've seen so far. The bullets that I fired out of those rifles were pretty much made for hunting. They're all soft tips, not made for penetrating titanium per se. What about something that might be a little better? Like a 762 by 39 full metal jacket out of this little AK pistol. If I can hit it. how fun this gun is. Here's our hit right next to that shotgun slug. Pretty much did nothing. I really thought that AK round would put a significant dent in there. I have one more bullet that I think will do a pretty good job. 556, the common cartridge that ARs are chambered in, is going a lot faster than 762 by 39. Plus, this is a full length barrel whereas that one wasn't. Plus, these are green tips. Green tips were almost banned not too long ago because they're good at penetrating things. So how will they do against a little titanium? They'll spark pretty good, that's for sure. I was a little bit worried we were not gonna be able to hurt this plate, but green tip was very successful. Put about a four millimeter 
dent in there. Hope you guys can see that. Well, that's it, guys. I was really hoping that something would make it through that little plate or at least bend it really bad, but titanium's a tough, tough metal. So anyway, oh wait, I've got one more gun. I always forget about this little guy. He's always hiding at the bottom of my gun cabinet. It's just a Barrett 50. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Shoots a 50 BMG, kind of a big bullet. See what it does with some titanium. Did y'all see those sparks? This is the best hit so far, but for a 50 BMG, I really thought we'd be seeing a little more damage. Black tips, armor piercing 50 BMG. That is a bad round. Let's see what it does to some titanium armor. I am very happy with the results. What's interesting to note, before I show you the plate, is the telephone pole has moved. It was right here. The plate was right here against it. The bullet hit the plate so hard that it smacked it hard enough to roll this telephone pole. And that telephone pole is not easy to roll. Now, check out this plate. That is a nice hole, is it not? The interesting thing though, is it didn't go through. Can you see that bulge right there? It actually cracked it a little bit it almost made it through. That hole was about 90% of the way through that plate. Pretty impressive stuff. Thanks to Tactical Advantage Armory for sending me that titanium. I'm sure titanium isn't cheap, so I definitely appreciate it. Go check them out. Thanks for watching Demotion Ranch. I'm so glad you're here, and I'll see you next time. Contact. <laughs> what about the quad? Don't move, don't move. Bobby?